Hello, NCC Church family. I am in Romans chapter 12 in verse 2, and it reads, Do not be conformed or do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I want to focus on the phrase renewing. God is, God is telling us that we want to renew our mind. And I want to give us an activity today that I think can, can help us renew our minds as we get ready for 2021. Uh, so here's the activity. For, for the year 2020, if you would write down on a piece of paper, ideally in a journal or somewhere where you could keep it, is that you would have a positive column and a negative column for the year 2020. And just write down, just fill those columns up with the positive things and the negative things in your life from 2020. And I think it can help help us have a good perspective. It can kind of help with a little bit of cleansing our mind and getting us ready for 2021. Uh, so we might have a tendency to think that there's just all of the negative in 2020, but I think as we sit down to write, there'll be a lot of positive things we have to note as well. I think it'll be a very beneficial exercise for us. So in your devotional time, in your quiet time, this may be something that you choose to do. If you have 10 minutes, take 10. If you can make 20 or 30 minutes to do this, I think it can be very beneficial uh, with our, for our personal relationship with God to take the time to do this. And then, then after you've done that, take a little bit of time to answer this question. How, how has 2020 impacted my personal relationship with God? And it's important in this whole exercise, and especially in this question, to be honest, to be brutally honest it, you know, about what your answer is, because it's when we're honest, when we're absolutely honest with God, that's where our growth is is able to occur. So I feel like this can be a very beneficial exercise for us here at the end of 2020. I think it can give us a little bit of a peg in our in our spiritual path uh, and a foundation to build on as we go into 2021. So I hope this will be helpful to all of us as we finish out the year and head into 2021. So let's pray together. God, we thank you for 2020. God, thank you for our, your faithfulness. Thank you for all of the things you've provided, all the ways that you've been so faithful to us through 2020. God, we do anticipate 2021. God, we pray that you'll help us as we put you at the absolute center of our lives. And God, as we make every effort on our part uh, to build our lives around you and your promises and the relationship that we have to you, with you, through Jesus Christ, we are so thankful. God, thank you for being with us and thank you for continuing to guide us as we move into 2021. God, we give you thanks and praise, and we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen.